Next time you walk past the O'Reilly Theater in downtown Pittsburgh, you can't miss these colorful window displays. They're just a hint of the fun you'll find inside for Pittsburgh Public Theater's first ever holiday showcase called Yinzer Yuletide. And here to tell us about this celebration of Pittsburgh lights and legends, our artistic director, Mariah C. Kaminsky, and music director, Nick Stamatakis. Good to have you both here. Hi, great Hi to be here. Good morning. I'm so glad that you guys decided to start this new tradition. So tell us a bit about it. Thank you. Well, you know, last year was my first year in Pittsburgh right. during the holidays, and I really caught the spirit. It is really fun downtown with the ice rink and you know, there's so much going on, but as I talk to people, uh, a lot of people really miss those department store windows. Yes. They miss Kaufman's, they miss Gimbel's and Horns. Uh, so we have this beautiful and we thought, well, why don't we, you know, start to dress this as a, as a destination for the holiday and of course have some entertainment and we have a great bar. So we, yeah. we thought we'd give it a shot and sort of get into And we're seeing just the a few of the pictures mm -hmm. here of the windows. Yeah. So, is there a theme? And this looks like Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Yes. Am I saying that right? Yes. That well, the land of make believe. Yes. Land so, you know, one of the things I happened upon was Rick Seaback's documentary, Happy Holidays in Pittsburgh, uh, which covers so many great traditions. Uh, so we teamed up with Rick Seaback uh, and started this show, Pittsburgh Lights and Legends, that's themed in the windows and it's themed. And so tell us about some of the music because you, you can catch some live music. And yeah, I mean, we have such an exciting lineup of musicians and performers from mm -hmm. Pittsburgh. Uh, we have Lenora Nemitz, who is a Broadway legend in yeah. the original production of Cabaret in Chicago. Uh, we have Etta Cox, who was a wow. very Pittsburgh's jazz legend, Etta right. Cox, really. And, uh, you know, just so many other performers per performing such a variety of musical styles. And we made sure that every song, holiday song that we're singing, has a little twist on it too. So it's something unexpected and just really charming and will really get you in the holiday spirit. And all ages. all ages. Oh. We have a seven year old <laughs> opera singer named Victory Brinker who just brings down the house. We opened last night and uh, she really stole the show. Wow. Yes. Yeah. yes. And so tell us about getting Rick Seaback involved in this because that is really, I mean, you said you were kind of inspired by his. I mean, his... I wrote him like fan mail. Right. You know, I, wrote, I saw the documentary. I wrote to him uh, and WQED was interested. And so we have actually been working since June. And the, the whole idea really came from our conversation. So through the course of the show, Rick gives, gives a list of 10 Pittsburgh lights and legends, and it's like obscure, interesting connections between Pittsburgh and the holiday season. Uh, yeah, and then he helped us line up the performers. You know, he had some ideas about who would be great and how we could make it a great mix. So all the planning that goes into this and, and launching and having your first show last night, do you think this will become a new Pittsburgh tradition in town? I mean, I think so. We, we could barely get people out of the bar last night after the show. <laughs> oh my That's just so. Pittsburgh in general, <laughs> right? Are naughty and nice? Uh, well, it's actually the Nebby and nice. Have you been Nebby or have you been nice? <laughs> yes, wow. I, you know. Oh, very learning. cool. Yes. <laughs> And do you yeah. have themed drinks too? Because that's something that's always we fun. We do. We do have some, we have some wonderful themed drinks uh, and a great gift shop. We've teamed up with Love Pittsburgh, Aww. so we've expanded our gift shop. And uh, on the weekends, we're having breakfast with Santa. And there's uh, Love Pittsburgh has also created a Santa's workshop with gifts ten dollars and under, so that's kids fantastic. can shop for their families. I love Love Pittsburgh. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. Me too. All right. Well, thank you both for joining us. Great and you to meet you. For more details and tickets for Yinzer Yuletide, you'll want to check that out. And you can find those online at PittsburghTodayLive.com. Of course, it is presented by Pittsburgh Public Theater. Still to come, the work of American artist Jasper Johns, where you can see it, learn about his work, and then be inspired to make your own art. That's also <laughs> not Jasper Johns. No. <laughs> also, ahead, get ready for our Friday dose of cuteness. You know him, Penguin, the PTL puppies here, with news of a few new friends just arriving in Pittsburgh. So more on that after this. <laughs> just gnawing away.